All right, you guys, today I'm gonna to show you on how to make this. That's right, I made a Milwaukee cabinet. Bam. All right, so ever since Milwaukee came out with the drawer system, I was seriously thinking that they need to make a cabinet multiple sizes. Just like all of you, I'm tired of taking off the top unit to get inside the unit below it. All right, the drawers help, but you're limited. With the drawers in there, you can't put a circular saw. You know, like they really need to make cabinets in multiple sizes, small, medium, and large. You know, and of course it gets taller as you go. And so Milwaukee, Milwaukee Packout fans are hardcore. They will buy it. Actually, Milwaukee, you'll have a major tough time keeping them on the shelves. Anything new Packout that is actually innovative and thoughtful, you will sell out. So Milwaukee, you need to make uh, cabinets for your Milwaukee Packout units. All right, but here's the footage of actually building it. Alrighty, so first I did a little experimenting. Right, so as you can see, there are these tabs on the side right here. There are two on each side. You just got to pry them, them out because those are what is actually keeping the, keeping the drawer on the rail. There we go. Do the other one. three and that's four and what you got to do let's zoom out a little bit just like that bring that up then there you go that's two drawers down now Personally, I like have the bottom drawer so I could, you know, uh, slide it out, but you have something in the middle of here anyways, and you only lose about, I'd say, three quarters of an inch when it comes to the surface of the third drawer and the surface of the bottom of the packout unit. So as you can see right here that the, this piece, this strip is actually sort of by itself, as you can see it, uh, it comes out like that. Get, get a clamp, clamp that together to keep that in place. Then you just take a flathead screwdriver, put it behind that, then bam. Then just wiggle it out of it because as you can see, it's held in by these right here. Just like that. Now I have all of the sliders out. Now you see we have an open face pack out unit with a single drawer on the bottom. And so, yeah, so, and there's still this. So, so yeah, but we're not done yet because I want a door right here. So let's do that next. All right, guys, so there's a couple ways you can do these. I'm going to try a couple ways to cut this. I'm going to try this first. That then you could do that. Let's try the M12 cutoff tool first. So now we'll do this. And also, please be careful when you do this. And there's the door, there's half the door. All right, so next we're gonna clean up the mess just to make it smoother a little bit. Just gonna use a pretty much a piece of sandpaper. So yeah, so like a, a one inch screw should be good to connect these two together with a piece of metal. Probably right here and right here. 
But I'm gonna cut off the other part of the door and then we'll, we'll continue. All right, so as you can see, we have our doors. Like I said, you could cut this in half and have them fold outward, or you could have one that goes out like that. So I, I actually wanna keep it like this. All right, so I just, uh, thinking about it, on the top, on the drawer that you want on top, as you can see, to make that even, you gotta take out this lip right here, the, this lip. So let's, I took it out already on this one, just gotta smooth it out a little bit. So let's, uh, it'll, it takes a few seconds, so let's do that. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now, now I could put, connect these two straight without anything in its, anything in the way. Done. All right, so let's uh, cut this in half. So let's actually just cut this in half. Right there is good. Alrighty. I will need you. You. And you. And there's the bottom drawer. Excellent. And there we go. Now you have a door. And I still could, you know, because of the sturdiness, I might not cut that in half. Because that's actually, that's actually pretty sturdy. I, I, I don't mind if a door opens up like that, as long as there's a door. So yeah, so that looks pretty good. That looks good. All right, so let's see on how this works. Look at that. See, and the, the sides right here, actually prevent this from going in from going inside see not too shabby now next i want to do is i want to get this to open like that with being able to do that still so that's my next goal so i did i went to ace i did get a narrow hinge uh i did get a two-pack narrow hinge two inch or five centimeters all right, so I'm gonna use these for the doors and I also, I'll put the, what size these are right now. I also got eight uh, machine screws with nuts and I will, re I will be replacing all the screws that I put in here with actual nuts and screws because uh, it's just temporary because I do have to go to work soon. So let's uh, get the hinges on. That's really on there without even a freaking nut. So that having that nut on there is gonna be really solid. All right, so I'll show you guys what I did in a second. I'm making this up as I go along, so just bear with me on it. Let's connect that so it's straight. All right, so as you guys see what I did here is I connected it to, I connected it like that. I'll show you guys in a second. Now this one goes up like that. Let's mark it. Let's drill those out. And there we go, not bad for version one. I will be making modifications to this, but it's got to squeeze. I think I might, if I reposition, I think if I change the position of the hinge, it would be better. But we will see in time, but it works. It works. And to help keep it all locked in place, you got that. Gorgeous. All right, so as you can see, there are, there are a couple of flaws, which this is version one. I'm gonna replace 
Uh, most I'm going to replace all the screws with bolts. It's just going to take time to actually get it, uh, under there to tighten the bolt up. The nut up, I have the nuts right here. I just got to tighten them up a little bit, then they're, they're squared away because at least the hinges are actually going to be securely on there. The, the main thing, I, I might redo the hinges as well. Might uh, I need to reposition them so it's not as tight over here because as you can see, when I pull out the unit, it's just a little tight right here at the corner. So that just tells me I just need to redo the hinges in a different way so I this just closes back by itself without you know it closes back in easily but I want it to just to go back in by itself so I need a couple of things I got to do to, to make this better and to make it a little bit more efficient and so yeah but it, it, it seriously works it seriously it seriously does work it's not a gimmick you know it I, I am amazed that this actually works now the one thing you got to be careful for is uh this being top heavy so like you wouldn't want this on the very top. You actually want this on the lower on the lower side so it doesn't topple over. Which, but that's the point of the pack out uh, cabinet. So you could put this on the bottom with still gaining access to your stuff. Belts and boxes. Please do a video on this. I beg you. People need to know about this, and the more people know, the more Milwaukee will actually build this. My main goal is Milwaukee to build this. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.